You must put your composition skills to the test and create negative space tattoos. What? Negative space is purposely leaving something untattooed. Just tattooing an image like you're used to, you're just flipping it and just tattooing the background instead to cut out your image. You're basically gonna have two images in one, your space and then some image that comes forward out of the negative space. It's like the toughest thing ever. You have six hours to create a negative space tattoo and your time starts now. Steve thinks that he gave me a hard skull pick, but I talked my canvas into moving that tattoo from her ditch to her forearm. I am so confident on this tattoo. All this you can line, because those are just solid chunks of black. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep yeah. that edge really clean. Cool. I'm ready to step up and show I'm as good as the top guns in this competition. Damn, dude. Smooth. After winning Tattoo of the Day, finally. I'm feeling super confident, super comfortable. This is a new feeling for me. You're showing off, dude. It's not good to show off, man. In this, in Ink Master, I think it's good to show off. I think I actually found my groove 100%. That's good, dude. <laughs> I got handed the I love you ASL symbol in a mountain scene, and I'm struggling. You gotta finish this thing. I'm trying to get through it. It's just so much little in this little spot. My piece doesn't flow the same way everyone else's does. I'm questioning everything I've done, and I'm losing it. Ink is everywhere. There's streaks on my face. It's a day. The mental game is the worst part of this thing. Two hours remaining, guys. Two hours left. Jeremy's is chaotic. He's got the ship's wheel and the anger and negative. Then he's got the tentacles going all over the place. I asked him to put everything inside the octopus, and he did. Steve thinks my design is too busy. If you over detail it, it's going to be out of control. He thinks I should have gone simpler with this, but it's important for me to show the judges what a Jeremy Brown tattoo really looks like. Hey, what about little highlights on these little bolts? You really want to f with that now? <laughs> As usual, Jeremy's like all over the place. The design looks crazy, and Steve is pissed right now. I mean, he's just not listening. Why not just do the anger? I don't know, he liked it. On the other hand, with my tattoo, I'm taking Steve's advice on this, tattooing something simple, clean, and just hitting the challenge. It's basically pull off that line, you know what I mean? And that's the best way to do it. Am I tripping, or is that composition? No. He took two elements and composed them together, but it's not like, that's great composition. It's just wolf and wolf. And Jeremy's is... I think there's bad composition on both of them. Jeremy should have left that thing completely negative and not tattooed it. This is your final hour. One hour to go. Do you think I can get another snake here negative? All of a sudden, Anthony's worried that I don't have enough negative space in my tattoo. It's definitely a huge risk right now to listen to my coach. My only concern, she's gonna have just this random gray shading, because I have to make the shading dark enough that the snake will hold. The household I grew up in was incredibly unhealthy for me. Art was always my outlet. Anytime I found myself in a situation or flooded with certain emotions or something, I was really dependent on it. It was like a Band-Aid for life. So in this competition, I need to trust in my natural artistic abilities. Five, four, three, two. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. One. Juan, I really love this tattoo. It's super powerful. It's a great composition. The way you have negatives coming in and then stark black images right behind those negatives, it creates a strong border and it's really well balanced. You threw some really nice detail in this thing. I really love what you did with these vines wrapped around the trees there. What I love about this is the really soft lighting that you have coming off of the moon, going back into the night sky, really giving this thing a sense of depth. That is a really strong play here for you. Jason. I love the illustrated face. I love the dark blacks in the areas of the eye, the nose, the lips. But these snakes are really thick. One thing that would have made this a little more interesting is making more snakes thinner. Oh, OK. What would have been a really nice touch as well is having that tongue come out of the top snake's mouth and really 
play with that shape and make that really work on the contour of the face. Those kind of things and this negative ask, that's a big help for your piece. Next up is rolling. Compositionally, it's simple, it's readable, it's legible. I love the details you have in the nose and in the mouth of the larger wolf. You definitely use the negative space and you didn't clutter it. My only issue with the tattoo is that you're very tonal. It would be really great to have some light around here to separate the face from the neck. Start trusting that light tone. You have the technical ability to be a lot better. Jeremy. Technically, this thing is really strong, but as far as composition goes, you've got straight on diving helmet, straight on anchor, right on top of each other, and then the tentacles come straight down, and then they both go out on the side. There's no real flow that interacts with this anchor. It just gets really hard to see what's going on. You have eight tentacles, you show six, you had an opportunity to incorporate the other two. It might have been to your service to show a little bit more of that thing flowing. Team DJ, you're up. Josh. The negative space that you put in here, showing off and depicting the hand, immediately resonates. But I wish there was a little bit more sky. Right now, it reads as though that little hue was put there just so you could get the finger to read. Some elements were forced. It looks a little cut and paste, but overall, you hit the challenge. Thank you. Deanna. I love this tattoo. The fact that you use this coffin shape as the border, that really sets the mood. You already know that there's something dark going on. Your ability to get this gritty, soft, smooth texture from the black to the gray shading has that black and white horror film look to it. It looks really smooth. The way the trees break into this image and spider across the darkness is really cool. And the composition is, has a really nice balance to it. Thank you. OK, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I really like Deanna's tattoo. Conceptually, the layout. For me, Deanna's is great, but Juan's, that cat, just really stands out. Juan's rich black and that gray behind it. This is the stage of the competition where that little thing can edge one out of the other. For that reason, I'm going with Juan. Vote for Juan. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Juan. Congratulations, Juan. This week, we're testing negative space. Negative space is the area that you don't tattoo. If you don't have enough negative space, the entire thing becomes dark and unreadable. Today, you must use gunpowder to create a design. If we're gonna use gunpowder to make art, somebody's going home in an ambulance. You'll have two hours to carefully spread the gunpowder on an eight by eight canvas. And when the time runs out, your canvas will explode. That's awesome. Once the fire dies down, your work will be revealed. Just like tattooing a canvas, you must have a light hand. This is going to be one of those things where you have one shot to do it. There is a catch. You must work as a team. You have two hours, and your time starts now. When you think about tattooing negative space, it's tattoo that you don't tattoo. It's the skin that shows through. Negative space is all about what canvas you leave open. Do you want the circle around her head completely sand? It's going to be really light towards where the back of her is, so it can fade out. Melissa knows that she's paired up with somebody who's been in the top more often than her, so she's giving me free reign on whatever I'm going to do. So the top of the circle will be cut off? You have to think of it reverse, because where we put the sand is where the light's going to be. This challenge is really difficult, because wherever we're putting the sand is going to be the negative space, and then the gunpowder is going to burn the rest of it dark. It's almost like thinking backwards. You see how this one comes up like this? If it came down here, like there was one big hill in your way before you got to the pyramid. That's a good-ass idea. Hell yeah. I'm taking the lead. This idea is basically my concept, and I don't want Halo to ruin it. Come over here and do something with that edge right there. That's killing me. Which one, the flame? This thing right here. That was bugging the out of me. He's trying to micromanage my art. It's annoying. Just trust me and let me do my thing, and it'll look awesome. Want to run through the middle of sausages and watch them cry? He's probably crying already. I have absolutely no clue why Halo would put me by myself. Sausage Man, it's nothing personal, dude. You're just too strong. You got to play by yourself. 40 
25 minutes remaining, everybody. I really feel like I'm in quicksand and somebody's got a boot to my forehead. And if they can kick me while I'm down, then that's the best time to do it. I'm ready for gunpowder when you are, man. Seven remaining contestants of Ink Master died today in a tragic gunpowder accident. What are you doing? We're gonna need more gunpowder. We gotta darken it a little bit. No, we're good. You don't want too much of a concentration because it'll just go into a fireball. If we go too far, we're done. If it sets on fire, it's not like it's not gonna be black. No, no, we're gonna set it on fire. What are you talking about? You wanna be the decision maker? Go ahead and make the decision. Watch what happens. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. See it blow up. Because I want to see it blow up. Three, two, one. Oh. Yep, knew that was coming. Everybody else's is a puff of smoke, and ours turns into a raging inferno. What? I told you so. Hey. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. Halo and Scott. The use of negative space you guys have in the sky is the part that I'm the most drawn to. It has a lot of natural flow to it. I really like the little details you got in the ground because it gave it multi-tones. Maddie and Melissa, to be able to pull off the shading that you did here in the face is pretty spectacular work. Y'all got a lot of nice detail. Really, my only complaint is that the border around the top didn't get a lot of attention paid to them. Lydia and Jay. So who was responsible for what? I did the skull, she did the flames, and we both laid out the misty stuff. Jay, you said you did the skull? Mm -hmm. There is some nice, very crisp lines in there. You don't really see that same crispness or detail in the flames. Of course, the judges don't like Lydia's flames, so I'm not gonna win again. I'm pissed off. Sausage. The way that everything is nice and dark with such a stark white image, the negative really pops out. The only place that's confusing is the shape of the claw and the shape of the flames up top. You kind of lose a little bit, but overall, it's just a very graphic print. Thank you very much, guys. Sausage looks like he went on a safari and shot a zebra and then hung it up on the wall. It is not good. Today, you created explosive designs using gunpowder. The judges have decided that the winners of today's flash challenge are Halo and Scott. Congratulations, guys. This week, we're testing negative space. Negative space is the parts that you don't tattoo. It's everything that you build around the skin that you leave open. Today, negative space is absolutely essential because you must tattoo black and gray. Right. If you don't have enough negative space in a black and gray tattoo, the entire thing becomes dark and unreadable. You're only using black ink, so you have to let the skin peek through to represent all of your lighter areas. Today, you must tattoo a creature that appears in almost every culture wherever humans struggle with good and evil. A demon. Yes. Black and gray horror tattoos is something that I can do in my sleep. I do them all the time. This is awesome. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a black and gray demon, and your time begins now. Stand nice and still. Let's do it. The difficulty in creating negative space in a black and gray tattoo is the artist understanding where the light's supposed to be and being able to do really smooth, gradual fades leading up to that light to create that nice, beautiful highlight. Perfect. What are your thoughts, bro? This is not gonna work. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted that pillar. Just the pillar or is it everything else too? My canvas doesn't want to work with me. He doesn't give a This is not what we discussed at all. It is what we discussed. No, it's not. not. This is not what Here, we discussed I'll get the, at all. I'll get this is not the picture. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I will tattoo myself to stay in this competition, but the last thing I'm going to tattoo on myself is a demon. Being a new man of faith, that goes against my religious beliefs. When I look up pillar, there's this kind of pillar. Is this what you're kind of hoping for then, too? I was kind of hoping that you would do it. I can't let him walk out the door. Strap me down and let the party begin. Dude, this is so awesome.
Charles. You like it? <laughs> I'm stoked, dude. I definitely need to outperform Scott. I need to be able to win this so I can continue to get an advantage on him. Scott's the tough one. He's gonna be a hard one to beat. Halo's tattoo looks like 10 pounds of in a five pound bag. There's way too many different things going on in it. Yeah. Halo blew his skull pick today. Four hours remaining. This is gonna kinda come in and then everything's just gonna kinda fade off as, as you see it. Is that all right? It's fine. Work? Yes. Cool. And then we'll get you started, okay? You ready? Little poke. What's up, brah? It's looking good, Maddie. Thanks, man. Me and Scott have a common goal now to get me in the top three and Sausage and Halo out. I am nowhere near safe in this competition and I have to work really hard to secure my place. There you go. There you go. I like tattooing demons. I like tattooing demonic Yeah, you seem really relaxed and not nervous at all. No. I think Scott and Halo tried to screw me and it worked to my advantage. All they're doing is motivating me. Two more hours remaining. Looks cool. I'm definitely watching this tattoo go from bad to worse. Because this is my specialty, I should be winning this challenge. And it's not gonna happen. Had to pick something with all the hair in the netherworld. I'm spending so much time on the hair, and I'm definitely freaking out about the time I have to finish the rest of the background. Without the rest of the background, this tattoo is not going to show negative space like I would like it to. 30 minutes remain, everybody. The guys that were up there today, they're gunning for the top people. As much as they sit here and try to throw me under the bus, I'm gonna battle my way to win. Mm -hmm. There's a couple bullies that kind of feel that if they give me enough maybe I'll just trip and then I'll fall. But they don't realize that my history has been to take whatever is given to me and absolutely crush it. Karma's a bitch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. Lydia, you're up first. We're looking for negative space. This whole tattoo is the same tone. Because the teeth are the same color as the fur, as everything, the mouth gets really lost. The negative space stripes coming down from the top teeth through the bottom jaw. What effect are we going for there? Drool. Oh, this drool? I would have liked to have seen the teeth and the drool have a little more zing so we don't have to question what the lines are. Wondering what something is in your tattoo is never a good quality. As far as hitting the challenge of negative space, there's some very amazing examples of that in this tattoo. I love the negative smoke flame. The part I don't like about this tattoo is the big chunk of hair going off behind her shoulder. It's so uniform, it looks like a rib cage. Maddie, I like the hair. I think it's a very cool stylized take on it. The trinkets that you did in this, the skull, the jewel, very nice. Melissa. The amount of detail you got in this thing is very nice, but it's definitely questionable what this thing is. He didn't want ears, he didn't want horns, he just wanted the mouth to be the main focus of it. It's the angry turtle. What? That doesn't bother me that it looks like a turtle, but the big black circles at the top, you don't really need because the edge of the top of his head kind of gets a little bit lost in that black there. That is a design flaw, just in the way those holes are created. Gentle J. The background detracts from the shape of the wings, and the two faces floating above detract from Satan's face. My eye sort of fights for which face I'm actually gonna look at. There's very little area of dense, solid black. You needed to bring some of that black either in the background behind the wings or in the wings to make these stand out from the background. And then all that smoky mist that's up around the top, it's a lot sketchier, a lot grainier than what we've seen from you in the past. Halo. My first instinct when I saw this was very hard to read. 
This wing that comes down, I thought that was some kind of a road going up to a mountain. And I still can't figure out if this is a breast plate or if there's a hand holding something in front of her. It's kind of made to look like fingers that kind of cup it. It definitely is the oddest, weirdest one of the bunch because there is a lot of detailed elements in a very strange composition. He had so many elements of cool things, and I was like, oh, I want to put these wings in, and I definitely want to get those shoulder pads, and then I want to get this breastplate because it's cool. And You just took on a lot of drawing. If you don't swing for the fences, you don't hit them, right? But this was definitely a big swing in a short amount of time. Scott. The craftsmanship on this is really nice, man. The really smooth black too, very light grays. This is a great example of using the negative space to create highlight. But we're looking for the demons. You kind of missed the mark on that. Something screaming or something showing a little more anger would have portrayed a demon a little better. Sausage. I gotta admit, when he said gargoyle, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh boy. It just sounds so corny. When I saw it, I was pretty much blown away. There's a lot of layers to it, and it looks like stone, but it has movement and action, and the perspective is odd and different. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. The dynamic hand that you have on the foreground is a really nice touch. All that really heavy shading, but with the nice skin breaks, makes it very legible. It doesn't get lost in the background. Overall, man, it's a good job. Sounds like Halo and Scott's attempt at throwing you under the bus may have backfired, huh? I'm hoping so. Well done, man. Thank you. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Great tattoo, Sausage. Well done, man. Thank you.